we've got a membership of 30 and they're a mix of age groups. So it makes you a democratic organisation and actually you know they'll bring in membership fees as well and so um, basically it engenders ownership in the project. They're on an email list so we give them news about the garden and things. A benefit to the members themselves are that we offer discounts on the courses and events and basically we also kind of promote to them all the good things that are going on in the garden so they get a sense of, of investing into something that's worthwhile. We have a membership of the society. It's very important to have a membership and it's very important to have a continual rolling membership. We currently have a waiting list on the allotments and that ensures that the people who are actually gardening know that there's people behind them who would want a plot if they neglected their plots that they were removed from it. So it is very important to have a healthy membership in your society. Uh, management of members is very difficult as we're all individuals with three thoughts. So uh, we manage them by information sharing. We have a notice board which we publicise events and we uh, issue notices that we want to pass on to the membership. We also contact them through social media and email and get everyone up to date with the latest happening on the plots. We have a membership scheme. We have, I think it's about 70 members around Swansea, which is, isn't anything like enough. Um, our members basically pay an annual contribution to the farm or a lifelong membership to the farm. And for that, they get regular newsletters, they get reduced access to some farm activities um, and they get the, I suppose, the inner glow of knowing they're supporting a really good charity.